Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Live. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. In today's video here, we'll be working guys on a BMW 5 Series E60, E61. And if you have one, doesn't matter if you have four cylinder gasoline engine, six cylinder or diesel engine guys, and you have a problem where your car battery discharges guys, it dies after you park the car for a few days or even overnight. We'll explain, okay, how to test your alternator and make sure that the alternator is not the cause, okay, for actually guys discharging your car battery because we have one pack of diodes guys that actually should supposed to stop the flow of electricity from the car battery to the alternator once you turn the car off so if that is bad it will actually the alternator instead of uh, let's say when the car is running instead of charging it when you stop the car it will start discharging the battery and it will die guys in today's video we'll show you how to test it we'll show you one that's good one that's bad make sure uh, to stay with until the end and you will know how to compare them now Quick introduction to the channel guys, every single car we get at the shop we make at least 200 free repair videos, specifically on BMWs we make more than 4 500 videos, why? Simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. So please guys subscribe to our channel and like the video so we can keep providing that free information. Now if you need to buy a new alternator, the tools that we'll be using to test it or any parts, check out the links, we share them for your convenience guys to see where you can get all that from. So now right here guys okay the bad alternator is the only engine this is a six cylinder engine but even if you have guys four cylinder uh, six cylinder gasoline diesel engines procedure is the same why simply because alternator work the correct the same way guys step number one disconnect your car battery on your five series guys if you don't know how to it's very important which terminal you disconnect first we'll put a video that explains all that it doesn't matter even if it's a ford opel or bmw there is a specific order of disconnecting okay the battery terminals and you need to follow that so step number one if you don't know how to do that i'll try to put the link to that video that explains everything in the description of the video below Step number two, once you disconnect the car battery, disconnect the positive wire that goes to the alternator that actually charges the battery. We need it to disconnect the battery because if you touch that wire somewhere, okay, you will short things out and you can cause quite a bit of damage to the electrical system, modules, components, and that could be expensive to fix. Now, we have guys, okay, usually alternators have that cap on the back. Okay, you don't need to remove it. We have one that's removed, okay. To show you what they look like on the back, you have diodes here guys, that diode pack, but you don't have to remove anything. What do we need guys? Okay, this is the 12 volt wire on an alternator, that's good. This is the charging wire, this is the alternator casing. Now, we need to get the tester guys, voltmeter. If you're on the market for amazing voltmeter, we will have the link shared in the description of the video below. Turn it to where we're going to test, okay, diodes, click twice, select perfect diode te testing function okay touch the black lead on the casing scratch it a little bit if it has corrosion red one on the positive charging wire what happens nothing guys nothing happens that's how it should be let's switch them the other way now red on casing black on charging cable we get about 540 okay this is amazing if you get a reading between 500 and 800 that's how it should be now if we switch them one more time what's happening no problems guys zero reading that's how it should be you turn your car off and you shouldn't let electricity flow back into it now on the other one that's bad here guys red on casing black on charging and we get about the same reading so far you think it's good right but when you switch them that's when things get interesting guys check it out now what's happening we should get no reading and what do we do we get a reading guys that reading okay means that it's going to discharge our battery guys you shouldn't get any reading so uh, you get the idea of that guys hopefully the video will be helpful to any of you trying to figure this thing out thank you for watching guys please subscribe to the channel for more help and see you guys next time